So just some tips and tricks to help your child memorize those times tables. There are loads of fun games out there, um, which I will talk about in the next video, but we're just going to think about tips and tricks that actually will help your child. So things like the five times tables, the multiple or the answer will always end in five or zero. And this is a really nice way to start some discussion with your child by asking them questions um, like, is 64 in the five times tables? Well, they immediately know that it's not. It's just a really good way of double checking, especially when they come into that um, idea of written multiplication. Two times tables, the answer is always even. So again, if they come up with an answer that's odd, they know that it cannot be in the two times tables or that they have made some sort of um, error in their calculation. Four times tables are double the two times tables. Um, children normally will learn the two times tables quite quickly because they learn to count in steps of two. And it's just a matter of doubling that to double check, which is great. And of course, the 10 times tables always end in a zero. And also, of course, that tens number is always a multiple of what you're at, um, multiplying. So if it's eight times 10, it's going to be an eight at the beginning with your zero at the end. And the times tables really give you a really good opportunity to talk about um, patterns and number sequences with your child as well, especially when you reach the 11 times tables. Using that 100 square, which we talked about in the previous video to actually identify patterns, allow your children to actually color them in, is a great way for exploring the times tables and allowing them to see if they can see a pattern and um, before you tell them what it is. Of course, 11 times tables, they count up in the double digits, the 11, 22, 33, 44. And then of course, the nine times tables, the answer will always add up to nine. So 18, two times nine, 18, eight plus one, is nine two or three times nine is 27 seven plus two is nine so the answer will always add up to nine another really great way of double checking that actually yes they have thought of a nine times table and um, it's a great way just to chat to your child about these patterns and just explore them with them and to help them understand the importance of double checking as well